Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Good Orderly Direction, Practical Tools of the Bible. I'm your host, Dr. Donnelly Snipes. Today, we're talking about Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 to 19, honesty and deception. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly, they're ferocious wolves. Think about the people that have come to you in your life, whether personally or maybe politicians or whatever, who have come to you and promised you things in order to get you to do what they wanted, but ultimately they didn't intend to fulfill their promises. They were just trying to manipulate you. So watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they're ferocious wolves. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad, fr bad fruit. A good tree can't bear bad fruit, and a bad tree can't bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. There's a lot of talk about fruit here, but what does it actually mean? Well, I'll give you an example. Apple trees, when they grow, what do they do? They produce good fruit. They produce apples. Now, it doesn't mean that you can just plant an apple tree and forget about it and you're going to harvest apples year after year. That apple tree needs to be tended or it's going to start succumbing to disease and it may be weaker and less able to produce good fruit. But as soon as you start tending it again and maybe prune off the rotten branches, then all of a sudden it flourishes with new life. So an apple tree bears good fruit, but just like us, we can't expect it to continue to do that without love and care, attention, mindfulness, all that stuff. A Bradford pear produces fruit. And this is one of my least favorite trees in the whole wide world. And you're going to find out why now. A Bradford pear is a hybrid that produces inedible fruit that, to humans. It's easily spread by wildlife and by suckers. And in Tennessee, for example, Bradford pears are very common trees that um, contractors will plant because they grow really quickly. But again, they also send out suckers and start growing everywhere in your yard. And they readily cross-pollinate with other cultivars of what we call calorie pears that produce a viable fruit that wildlife will eat and disperse, resulting in very thorny thickets of wild pear trees. So they're planted because somebody wants something really, really fast, but ultimately they cross pollinate and they start choking out the good trees. They start overwhelming the healthy environment. As I said, apple trees can produce damaged fruit, but that can be remediated and the fruit can once again be edible. That's not true for the Bradford pear. It will never produce edible fruit and it will choke out the plants that do produce edible fruit. So think about it. Who in your life is a Bradford pear? Who is incapable of producing good fruit and able to lead others astray? Remember the Bradford pear itself, it's not going to do much. It's going to take up space in the landscape, but it's seeds can be easily dispersed and it can cross pollinate with good trees and actually produce a bad tree. So who in your life is that Bradford pear? And Bradford pears in your life, you may need to consider setting some boundaries with them prudently, being truthful and respectful just because they don't agree with your thinking, they don't agree with your philosophy, doesn't mean necessarily that they're bad people. However, you need to choose where you set your boundaries and what you want your thoughts and your actions to, quote, cross-pollinate with. Who's an apple tree in your life? And are they currently strong and vibrant? 
Are they currently feeling empowered and safe and capable? Or are they starting to feel burned out and exhausted? Are they starting to succumb to not being nurtured, to not being supported? What can you do to encourage that apple tree? What can you do to nurture that apple tree to help it once again be strong and vibrant? Please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps me continue to put these videos out.